Hello, my name is Colin Miles, the CEO and founder of Miles Better, creator of the accounting translator concept and often referred to as the numbers guy. I thought if I'm going to ask you to allow me to help you grow your business and mentor you on a business and personal level, you should at least know something about me and why I feel ideally placed to help you. A phrase I used a lot while scuba teaching scuba diving from the Paddy organization is, do you know who I am? Well, I started Miles Better back in 2014 while vacationing on a dive boat in the Red Sea. The best ideas are often born out when you least expect it. Recently, we've added to our project product suite with the launch of Miles Better USA, Miles Better Digital and Miles Better Mastermind and Business Mentoring, as well as becoming a founding member of On Point Mentors, which I'm very proud of. And over the years, I have developed a concept that I refer to as the Miles Better Four Pillars of Success. We use plain speaking numbers, helping to translate accounting, the language of business, in a way that entrepreneur clients can understand. Real time numbers is pillar two, ensuring we solve our clients problems when they need them, i.e. now. The third pillar is hassle free numbers, uh, allowing us to take over the hassles and the frustrations of working with tax authorities um, and various other entities. And the fourth and final pillar that holds up this whole base is meaningful numbers. Being the numbers guy, everything is about numbers. So bringing in being in your corner as your mentor and business guru, a little bit like the Yoda of numbers. The concept was simply to remove the day to day hassle for small business people and entrepreneurs when it comes to your accounting function and more recently business mentor support. This simple approach of working allows you to focus on your passions, growing your business and becoming the entrepreneur you've always dreamed of. Because however good your idea is, if you don't manage your finances and truly understand your business in real time, your ideas will never grow past becoming just a hobby. The concept's been adapted to also meet our pivoting into the digital marketing world and other product areas, but it's still the four pillars of success. So here you ask, how do we know that you can deliver these four pillars and help me? Well, I have my own story to tell you. Being my favourite subject and something that ranks as my proudest proudest achievements, let me begin. I'm not your typical accountant or business advisor in any shape or form. I trained as an accountant economist at Southampton University in the United Kingdom, where I met my wife, but I quickly realised that old fashioned accounting style and approach at that time was not for me. So she went down the rabbit hole of working for one of the big four accounting firms. I went off into business management. I looked at what made me excited every day and found that my personality and outlook suited sales and operations. Rising to become European retail director and then European managing director of several European arms of large US corporations. In fact, I worked with Faye Chappell, founder of On Point Mentors, for several years back in the late 90s. Uh, so it just shows how small the world really is after some 20 years we come back to work together again. It was only later in life that I realised that I understood the application of the numbers, but not the actual background that they came from. I was fortunate enough to be awarded a place at the prestigious BRC Oxford Summer School Retail Academy early in my career and can truly say this was a turning point as it was my first exposure to mentoring and business coaching. The positive effect of having real coaching and mentorship in my life was mind blowing. I soon came to understand that this was an ever greater passion of mine and was excited to return as a trainer mentor uh, and a finally a board member to the retail managers of the future, a position I held for some 22 years before stepping down in 2008. So I continued to progress up the corporate ladder um, and then the phrase, the old phrase saying work and no play makes Colin a dull boy started to become a reality. And the final nail in the virtual coffin was in 2003, when my wife said, Colin, I love you, but I don't like you anymore. And I don't like what you've become. This was like a dagger through my very soul. So I made what at the time seemed to be a crazy decision. I quit my six figure income role. And there's not now, this is where a slight funny side to this rather dramatic uh, story. I went out to the US to meet my board uh, members. Uh, I had a meeting and quit but I hadn't told Kate that that's what I was doing. My, emotional, my emotions were getting in the way and causing my, myself to have business failure, which was not great. So when I came back earlier than expected, the front door to my own home was locked from the inside as she'd gone out the back door and I didn't have that key. And so I had to sit on my own doorstep contemplating life whilst I waited for her to come home. 
really put things into perspective, as you can understand. And I'm not ashamed to say I shed a few tears of relief when I realised what I had done was the right decision. Some damn time to recharge and find my mojo again. I looked at what I truly enjoyed in life and realised that that was teaching, mentoring and developing people to be the best of themselves. And I found that very uplifting. My passion for the underwater world was still in its early stages, but becoming a paddy instructor in 2006 seemed a great way to start the next phase of my life and journey. My, person my personality, however, meant this was never going to be just a small adventure. And I ended up buying the dive centre I learnt uh, to become an instructor with and ended up supporting and running um, eight other dive centres in UK, Egypt and the Seychelles. To support this journey, I qualified as a paddy instructor trainer in 2019 and was very um, pleased to have been awarded Platinum Status Course Director, one of only 50 instructor trainers in the world in 2009. So a very proud moment, but again, realising that business mentoring, mentoring, teaching was becoming part of my very DNA. So running so many small businesses at the same time honed my skills of plain speak, uh, and real time as I needed to ensure that or that my team knew and that they were able to act uh, and work on the numbers as I did throughout my eight businesses. I to build systems that allowed us to generate meaningful numbers that allowed us to focus on the right indicators um, as there are so many that can steer you wrong. What, simple, what the simple numbers told us is what we could take on more staff, what happened if we launched a new product and this became very powerful in our business. We restarted in, uh, internally to refer to these as the three secret documents of success and a statement that is now in our DNA is so, as it is so key for all entrepreneurs and business people is sales are vanity, profit is uh, sanity, but cash is king. During 2011, we tried out our hand at another venture, which I have to say didn't work. So the roller coaster of business is not always just up, there are downs. But as a serial entrepreneur, this happens. But the three key secret documents quickly told us that we needed to change. So I decided that the time was right to take the pivot to a different avenue of success and to position my dive business for sale. And the sale closed very successfully in 2012. It allowed me to return to fulfill a promise I made in 1987 to work with a university college friend in establishing a new multi-million dollar venture in the European market. After a couple of extremely successful years where we experienced exponential growth, a change in direction was presented to me and you never know what is around what is around the corner. Whilst I've been busy running my various business opportunities, Kate, my wife, had risen also in her career and found herself as the CFO of a billion dollar company that she and the management team decided to sell to a competitor and she decided to semi-retire at 46. And that sounded like fun. So I decided to join her and review our options. We moved to France and I physically built a pool on an Italian terrace. Never done anything like that before. I never even got my hands dirty whilst in corporate land. So this was an amazing um, pivot uh, and something that really allowed me to think about myself and what I enjoyed doing. However, in the back of my mind were still those four pillars of success that we had identified and what they stood for. And as no one, as I'm known for never to be sitting still for very long, the idea of Miles Better was born in 2014 in August, while, as I said, sitting on a dive boat with some friends in the Red Sea. I was looking to start a new business that allowed me to travel, coach, mentor and give back some of the skills and knowledge that I had gathered, gathered over the last 25 years of my business journey and career. The interesting thing is that I ended up returning full circle to my initial, initial passion of accounting and found that the, with the wealth of knowledge, real life experience and the four miles better pillars and now the power of the internet, I could offer a service that allowed me to achieve my personal work-life balance, owning homes now in the US, France and the UK, whilst providing clients with the support that they need to focus on their passions. So over the last six years, I have refined the pillars. And so I'm now proud to present them again as the Miles Better Four Pillars of Business Success. So now we've pivoted to plain speaking business, helping to translate accounting the language of business and digital marketing and business mentoring in a way that entrepreneurs and clients can truly understand. Real time business mentoring, ensuring we solve our clients problems when they need them, i.e. now. 
hassle-free business support, allowing us to take over the hassles and frustrations of working in isolation um, and allowing you to focus on your business and clients. And finally, meaningful business support, being in your corner as your mentor and your business guru, and now the Yoda of all things business and numbers. I'd love to work with you in the coming weeks and months, and I hope this origin story has given you a little bit of an insight as to who I am, Colin Miles, the CEO here at Miles Better, and that I'm not your typical accountant or your typical business mentor, but as somebody who actually can bring you my style, energy and enthusiasm to every meeting that we'll have and every session that we'll work on. I thank you for your time and your interest, and I truly, truly look forward to working with you over the coming months. Thank you.